she cap she's captivated readers internationally with her best-selling thrillers, and she's also shocked her fans in just about every way possible, at least until now. I got the chance to chat with Karen Slaughter about a big return in The Black Widow. When my uh, producer was talking about reading your books, she said that they had such great writing, she had to take a pause and stop reading for a moment. She was just thinking about all the things that had happened to the characters. Well, first, I should say your producer's a really smart lady with good taste. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, you know, I write my books to entertain people. I love thrillers. I love the twists and turns. And maybe it's because I'm the youngest of three girls. I, I loved keeping secrets about my sisters that I sprung at over the dinner table to shock and surprise everyone. Uh, so I, I love that kind of writing, and I'm glad that people enjoy reading it. So coming back after a three-year hiatus, uh, how are you keeping these characters in play in the new novel, and what can people expect to, to see once they pick it up? You know, it starts out with just a typical day with my characters, Will and Sarah, and he's an agent with the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. She's a medical examiner for the state, and it's a Sunday afternoon, so he's cutting the grass, and she's in the kitchen with her mother, hearing her mother tell her everything that's wrong with her life, <laughs> and suddenly there's an explosion, and they run outside, and they realize there's a plume of smoke coming from the local university, and this is also where the campus for the Centers for Disease Control Control is, uh -oh. and that's where the the story really takes off. So, where do you get your inspiration for these these stories? I mean, you, you've created a universe, so it's got to be this like whenever you're driving around or doing housework or something, all these things pop into your mind. And I mean, how do you take that from these ideas into these big, wide, huge storylines that you've created? I travel a lot for work, so I'm in airports a lot, especially the Atlanta airport. And anyone who's been there for more than five minutes knows that you're instantly thinking about horrible ways to kill people. Uh, so a lot of my books, uh, the, the plot comes about while I'm sitting at the gate hearing that my plane's been delayed another time after the last four times. Or, you know, I just, I really like writing about characters and how crime affects communities. That's my focus is not just just the horrible thing that happens, but what is this going to do to the families of mm -hmm. the victims? What is this going to do to the investigators? And that's what I talk about in my books. It's not just the bad thing, but what the bad thing leaves behind. You talk a lot about hot button issues, uh, including violence in your books. Can you talk about how important that is to, to, to be discussing that and, and putting that out in the open? For a long time, we never talked about violence against women. Domestic mm -hmm. violence was considered something between a husband and a wife that you kept in the family. And that didn't stop it. In fact, it helped the perpetrators hide in plain sight. And talking about it, showing it for what it really is, and, and speaking to my readers who, you know, 85% of all fiction buyers are women, so mm -hmm. women read quite a lot. Uh, and telling them, look, this is there's a different way. Let's talk about this horrible stuff that's happening and look for a way to stop it. And the soon-to-be eight-part Netflix adaptation is uh, of Karen Slaughter's best-selling novel, Pieces of Her. Uh, one of our producers has read most of her books. It says uh, that is the Karen Slaughter book for an adaptation. So can't wait to check that uh, again coming to Netflix.